John chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Very interesting as you read John chapter 1, that he starts talking about the word, but pretty soon he personalizes the word and gives the word a personality and calls the word him. So John is not just talking about the word as information or just as knowledge that just exists. He's talking about a personality that is embodied in what is called the word. In him, in him was life. So this word of God is life. Life in all its manifestation. Life in, in all its fullness both physical and spiritual life. The spiritual life we do not see exist because he's life. The material life that we see exists because he's life. Even the part of material life that we do not see exists because he is life. Anything that has the ability to exist and to reproduce does so because he exists. And anything that exists and is manifested, it's so because he gives life to all things that have life. And he says that this life that is in him that is not just that which makes us alive, but it also gives us light. In other words, it gives us some quality of brightness. It makes us better people. It makes us people with conscience. It makes us people with meaning, with people who live a life of purpose, the light of God that shines over all men. You know, many times we say that there are people are in darkness. And when we say people are in darkness, we don't mean that uh, there is no sun shining in their, in their lives or that the light is turned off in their life. No, when we say people are in darkness, it means that they are not seeing clearly the purpose of life, that they are not seeing things clearly, that they've been blinded, and they are not able to perceive the reality of God. And there are many people who live in God's world but do not see God who live in God's creation but cannot see the creator, and they are in the dark. But Christ is a light that shines in the darkness. And so the passage says the light is not just in existence, but it shines, it moves, it manifests, and it shines in the darkness. And that's what Jesus Christ came to do. He is the light of God, the light of the world that shines in the darkness of our world that we can behold our creator as he is and honor and worship him as such. And then John says something very interesting. He says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness does not comprehend it. The darkness does not understand the light. And that's true, darkness doesn't understand the light. But at another level, he also means that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome the light. So even when people don't understand the light, they cannot stop the light. If people say, oh, you know, there are people who say, well, there's no God. That doesn't stop God from being God. Oh, I don't believe in Jesus Christ. He's still Jesus Christ. He's still the light of the world. The darkness does not understand it but it cannot stop it. It cannot overcome it. That is the overpowering presence of the light of God, which is in the life, which is in the word, which is in God. Out of God, there is the word. Out of the word, there is life. Out of the life, there is light. And may that be your light today. Let's pray. So with me, Heavenly Father, Darkness cannot stop the brightness of your light. Use me as your light in this dark world. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you. Have you shared the gospel with someone? Have you told someone about the love of Christ? Have you won a soul today? 
Tell your family, friends, colleagues, and workmates what Christ has done for you whenever you get the opportunity, either in person or on social media. Invite them to church and let's share fellowship together in Christ. God bless you as you reach out with the gospel. Reach, winning souls for Christ.